but anyway um, that's just a quick update uh, I have an appointment uh, with the Tesla I'm gonna take it there um, and uh, they should replace my computer and hopefully everything else uh, works and I won't have any other issues and uh, the car is gonna be ready to be driven uh, meanwhile uh, I'm gonna buff the front end uh, there are a few problem spots and there's a lot of uh, trash. I'm only gonna sand and buff this area um, kind of a horizontal area or first visible area which would be probably right above this uh, camera and the upper portion, this portion of the bumper, that fender and uh, most of the hood. sending this one uh, I'm gonna send with uh, thousand grit and then switch to uh, 2000 and do most of the work with uh, 2000 grit I don't want any of uh, thousand grit uh, stay on this car uh, for buffing because with the regular car well, I mean with the regular color um, well with the light color let's say silver gold any kind of white uh, light colors swirl marks or scratches are not going to be as visible as on this one outdoor uh, you probably won't notice but indoor everything pops up so let's get this one sanded send by hand with the block or without you do want to uh, listen to the sound that uh, sandpaper makes when you send it if you hear some uh, I don't know how to describe it but if you hear some high pitch I guess uh, sound there's a chance you got something underneath your uh, sandpaper and you're creating scratches you, you really have to be careful Okay, so the amount how much to send is totally up to a client and in my case that's I am the client it's 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 really up to me um, even though I very much light lightly done this half of the hood I am pretty happy with what I see so there are a couple of uh, dust spots where I'd like to send a little bit more. There is a little area with uh, one dust spot that I missed completely. And uh, this fender have few spots. I'm just going to do it sp uh, spotly or by spot. And... Uh, I'm gonna be pretty happy with uh, with what I see. I'm not even gonna go into this side of the bumper. I'm actually fine with uh, the way it looks right now. Uh, I'm not gonna sand it. Yeah, uh, just a little bit more sanding and uh, we're gonna go to the next step which is uh, 
actual buffing. Buffing with the wool pad and then buffing with the foam pad. So just a little bit more sanding. Ouch! Oh my goodness! I thought I just cut through paint, but it was just a compound buildup. Oh my goodness, I almost had a heart attack. Oh wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> These, uh, the corners, right where the panel uh, bends, these are so easy to cut through. Uh, I, I will have uh, more chances to cut through with the wool pad rather than uh, foam pad. But it does happen. If you uh, send it down really thin, clear coat, if, it's, if, if the clear coat left after sending is really thin, and you will hit, would hit it with the wool pad and you would basically have like a very very thin layer then you can cut through that layer with this pad oh my goodness I'm so happy I didn't cut through I, I it, it looked really it really looked like uh, I did cut through Woo! let's move on Is it let me show you results you can actually buff more and more until your hands are gonna fall off uh, but I usually buff until I like what I see I am not sure what what you were able to see right now but I can tell you there's a long scratch right here, which is visible only under certain lights. And this is probably um, came from uh, squeegee or something because it's really long straight scratch. Um, there are... Well, Right now you won't see much, like there are some scratches in this area and probably to get rid of those I would have to hit it with the 2000 grit because I think these are the 1000 grit scratches. So basically overall if you stand at a normal distance the car looks great. Like I said it's all uh, up to up to you whatever uh, whatever is uh, acceptable for you uh, for me this car is gonna have uh, probably tons of scratches a lot bigger than I just showed you after about a uh, two weeks of driving but all those things are all those uh, down deep scratches are normal um, well at least it's normal to me so at this point I'm going to take it to outside, it's already dark, I'm going to wash it, remove the tape, I'll probably put some scratches with the brush by washing it 
but uh, at this point I'm very happy with the results uh, I have an appointment tomorrow with uh, Tesla uh, fingers crossed everything is gonna go smoothly and they're just gonna change the computer and everything is gonna be working uh, but you guys are gonna find out in the next video so uh, you know what to do and uh, I'll see you in the next one